Hi, I'm Mark Luxton, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fade out audio in Premiere Pro. Okay, so let's look at how we can fade out audio in Premiere Pro, and also I'll show you how you can fade audio in. Now, you can see I'm in Premiere Pro at the moment. I've got a video there in my timeline, and I've got the audio underneath, but you can see there the audio goes on for quite some time after the video clip finishes. So I'll just show you this video for now. It's only a few seconds, so we'll click on play. Okay, so you can see it's still playing now because I've got that audio. So what we need to do first of all is clip the audio just at the end of the video. So we just reposition this. So just where we see the video appear. Okay, now I can clip the audio. So we'll get a razor blade from the side there and clip the audio there. Okay, so now we can click on the arrow. Click on that bit and delete it. So press delete on the keyboard. So now the audio and the video clip are both the same size, the same length. Okay, but the audio is going to finish quite abruptly, so I'll just reposition that and just play it for again for, uh, to watch to listen to the end. Okay, so we don't want that. That just it just finishes far too abruptly. So what we need to do is click on the audio and go to effects, and when you can see the effects in the side panel here, then click on the arrow next to audio transitions. Okay, and you can see this one here crossfade. Click on that little arrow as well. And now you can see three options here, constant gain, constant power, and exponential fade. If we click on the exponential fade, so it's highlighted, now click and hold the mouse button and drag it down onto this audio track. So I'm going to click, click and hold, drag it down, and position it there on the audio track. You can see it there has now been added. Now what we can do is adjust this um, fade out. So you, you can see when I move to the side of it here, uh, you can see that changes slightly and if you click and hold you can actually drag that to obviously uh, increase the time that it fades out so if we position that uh, around about there okay also what you can do is if you double click it then you can adjust the time here but I just find it easier just to position um, the end and you can see at the top here this little line is where that's um, positioned there so if we just listen to that now we'll, we'll hear that fade out okay so that's fine and what we'll do now is at the beginning of the video you can hear it starts up okay now if we want to fade it in all you go to, all you do is go to constant gain and then do the same thing click and hold add it to the front of the video and again you can adjust that as well so you can see I can adjust this but if we just position that to the beginning of the video now and play that all the way through you'll see that that fades in and fades out okay so that for me that's perfect it's basically just being used as um, branding at the beginning of a video so for a YouTube video it's a good idea to have an introduction and then a little bit of branding so people can see uh, who you are or your logo or your website and then go into the video content so that's what that's being used for ideally wants to be around five seconds less than seven seconds ideally and once you've got your video and your audio how you want it then to export your video then you can go to file and export and go on to media or you can just on a Mac you can uh, just click on command and M and you'll see this open up now all I need to do, this is the format, I'm going to put H2, uh, H.264, that's fine. All I need to do is click on this and name the file whatever I want to save it as. Cl save it to my desktop and it's going to save as an MP4 and then click on save. Okay, so once you've done that, you can come down and click on export. If, you want, if you're doing other stuff in the background, you can put it in a queue. But if you want to export it straight away, then just click on this export here and that will save that down onto your computer. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below this video. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, remember to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you get notifications as and when I upload new videos. But for now, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.